This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, June 3rd, to this coming Sunday, June 9th, 2024. We're, we are continuing with our messages regarding your heart and living a heart-based life. This is our fourth communication for you to understand how important your heart is. And there's another side to this, and that's the sensitive empath. An empath is already very grounded in their heart, but they're living in a world that's not heart-centered. They must learn to protect themselves and to be safe in the chaos of the 3D while still being able to be heart-centered and spend a lot of time in their heart-centered space. And you know, you all deal with this to some extent. You're all trying to be heart-based in a world that ignores the heart. But for an empath, this is excruciating. Instead, you've got to create you've got to create sanctuary, patience, kindness, and love. These are the tools an empath can use and all of you can use to live a more balanced life. First is sanctuary. You need a safe, enriching, trustworthy place to exist. Your home, your abode, your living situation needs to be secure, quiet, safe, filled with light and love. It needs to be the place you can count on to nurture and provide solace for you. Patience. As you discover, you are not wrong in your feelings. You deserve to be safe in your feelings and in your individuality. Your empathy is actually your superpower, even though it's confusing to those who are guided by their egos and the loud noise in their heads. Your soft, quiet, heart-based being can be led by patience. Kindness and love are your language. You lead with your heart, so you understand those who are suffering. You understand the permanence of love and goodness. It all begins with kindness. Everyone deserves a quiet, trustworthy, patient, loving environment. Everyone deserves to be nurtured and cared for. Everyone deserves to be heard and listened to. Everyone deserves to have their needs met with kindness. Everyone deserves to have their heart appreciated. Everyone deserves peace and love. And it begins with you. Be the heart-based example for emotional balance. Be the heart-based example for kindness and goodness. Be the heart-based example that's trustworthy and reliable. Be heart-based in everything you do. Lead with your heart. Be guided by love in every moment. It's a beautiful place to exist, heart-based, beautiful nurturing of your empathic, your beautiful, sensitive, empath being. And you have so much support with us. There's nothing more important to your guides than assisting you to live the best heart-based life you can. Whatever you'd like to improve in your life, they can help you come into heart-based alignment for your best outcomes. So let's connect, have a reading. Let's get all this alignment in place for you. All the information for your reading is on my website. 
spiritpathways.net. All right. Nine cards for the energy of this week. Let's see what's happening this week. All this energy. Oop. All right. Definitely that one. That one. And now one more. There we go. Okay. What have we got this week? Lay these out. And we're going to go over each one. <laughs> so you can use it to your best advantage. And I'm sorry my voice is a bit craggly. I have had a chest cold. All right. King of Pentacles. We're starting with a very high energy outcome card. Kings are always outcomes. And they're telling you, this one especially, it's all about goodness. <laughs> it's all about quality of life. It's all about good health. Thank you. We need that. The King of Pentacles is saying, I'm beginning with this information so you can count on it. Things are improving. Health, wealth, quality of life, value, fulfillment, all in the garden of your life. It's getting better and better. So prepare yourself for that. Prepare yourself for the hopes and dreams that you've been asking for. Yes, when the star shows up, it's telling you some of your desired outcomes are going to come to you now. Those prayers that you asked for are going to be answered. Things are going to happen that are positive and are going to make you happy. So don't hold on too tight. Don't hold on too tight. Don't resist. Don't tell the story of lack. Don't mistrust. <laughs> this is just no. Everything's going to be okay. Don't mess with the energy by holding on too tight. And then they reinforce that by giving you the highest card in the deck, the world. Along with this king, right below the king of pentacles is the world. All the outcomes that you desire, all the goodness that you desire, all the things that you've been working for happening in the most positive and wonderful ways. Fantastic cards. But this card says, stop doing that thing that you've been doing where it, you, you keep fighting the same battle. You keep fighting the same battle and expecting a different outcome. That's got to stop. You've got to change your tactics. You've got to let the battle go. You've got to find a different way of going about things where all this energy opens up and you can benefit. The Queen of Wands, she agrees. She's got solutions for you. She says you're strong. And pay attention to what makes you happy. And you're protected. Don't worry about those battles. You're protected. You're good at home. You're good in business. Everything has balance. So follow what inspires you. Follow what tickles you pink and makes you happy as can be. Because that's where your success will be. And the page working with that queen and in between the next queen the page says you've got to start somewhere. So start with that idea. Take action on that thing that does inspire you. That thing that does tickle you pink. That's going to grow into something that's worthwhile. Something you're going to be really happy and proud of. Something that's probably going to be a good business decision. The Queen of Swords, she's very good at business. Just like this queen, they complement each other perfectly. Both good at business. The queen of wands, she's happier at home. The queen of swords, she wants to stay at the office. But this is swords. So it's about using your intellect and your wisdom and your knowledge and your experience. Combine that with your heart and you will have amazing outcomes. Look for the new opportunity. This is not repeating something from the past. Don't tell me the story of that thing 15 years ago that you want to resurrect. 
because that's over and done. That's history. It's like a past life. Now you have a new opportunity that's divinely sent. You don't even have to figure it out other than to participate in it. And the easiest and quickest way to participate in it is to stop telling the story of the past, is to stop trying to resurrect the past. So there you go. Very clear, very straightforward, fantastic energy for this week. Enjoy, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.